this is. This is my meme. This is the best chocolate. This is the best chocolate I've ever had. It's great. <laughs> Long day. Tell me about it. <laughs> you guys you're watching the clever expat don't panic summer is not yet over and even if Belgium is not the sunniest of all places it can get pretty hot pretty fast and on those days you need to know where to find the best icy treat so we visited five artisan Belgian ice cream shops and ate only ice cream for the past 24 hours only to be able to give you a truly objective and unbiased review of the best of the best so here it is, the five best artisan ice cream shops in Belgium. Enjoy! We started the day at the Atelier Saint Catherine Pour Chocolat. The workshop is where the roaster chocolate maker Frédéric Blondel launched his first bean to bar chocolate in 2013. In his footsteps, the atelier developed its own chocolate range, emphasizing on preserving the original cocoa flavors from carefully selected plantations from all around the world. I've never tried such an intense chocolate before. Little biscuitino. Mmm. This, this is the best chocolate that I ever had. I always forget the full name of this. This is Madagascar vanilla with caramelized pecan nuts. I actually did it. Now this is really good. Located just a few steps away, right opposite the fountain, you can enjoy an ice cream or a coffee to go if you are not lucky enough to find the spot on the sunny terrace of Gaston. Launched by the owners of a designer restaurant in Volouvé, Gaston only puts the best into their ice creams. Chocolate from Sao Tome. So it's much creamier, it's really yeah. creamy, it's really, really delicious. intense chocolate, the crunch test. This is the best chocolate. <laughs> it's the best. And this is a sorbet. Very light, very lemony. It's a breath of fresh air. It's good. Look. It's great. Founded 20 years later than its sister shop in New York City, Cohn's first opened its doors in 2018. Just a stone throw away from Place Flagé, all of their ice creams are produced on the premises with high quality ingredients and 20 years of experience on the field. But what Cohn's really stands out with is how they are not afraid to experiment with exciting flavors you're not going to find anywhere else, such as corn, sweet potato, and dulce de leche. Here we go, dark chocolate. It's not too intense, it's a bit stretchy. Wow. 
what do we have here? What is this? The recipe comes from like 16 years ago when this guy was in New York and that's where his Brazilian colleague requested to try corn and try everybody it. loved it. Let's check it out. It's so awesome. Mm. It's full of corn. The cinnamon is a nice addition. What's next? Another amazing ice cream that you can get is at the Gaspake Ice Cream Bar. The treats are made using milk from local farmers, which makes it creamy, tasty, and for this reason, totally worth the short ride from Brussels. They probably have the most extensive menu, which provides endless combinations to be enjoyed in their beautiful garden where dogs and kids are both welcome. It's rum raisin. You can see the little raisin pieces in it, but it's good. Oh, it's safe! Are you ready for the next place? Yeah. I saw, wah, wah. Yeah, I am. Our final stop of the day was in Ghent, where Bas, the up and coming gem of the ice cream scene, showed us his truly remarkable ice cream atelier. It's so creamy, it's so flavorful. And I was like, well, I made it at home and it's a home recipe. And from there, it sparked a business idea, basically, in my head. And why not just delve even more, deeper in the, in the ice cream science? Let's begin. So it's lightly drizzled with chocolate. This might be the best chocolate I've had today. Oh man! It's real good. The honeycomb flavor that I have, it's one of the original flavors that I have as a staple. It's uh, made of this caramel candy, basically. It's not mm. made of honey. This one is drizzled with dark chocolate and chili salt for you to taste. It's, oh, uh, it's creamy and it paired with the, with the creaminess, the gentleness and the silkiness. I mean, see that little honeycomb pockets in it? This is the best ice cream I've ever had, including the gelato in Rome. How do you feel? I'm still recovering. My body needs some rest after all these ice creams, but it was mm. totally worth it. True. Um, so make sure you guys give them some love, check them out. You can see their details down below and catch you in the next one.
What? 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 Haven't you had enough? I'm sorry. Okay. So like and subscribe.